time no see. I haven't been on here for a fair while, so I thought I'd do a cheeky wee Powerpuff Girls tutorial for you. This was surprisingly more easy than I thought it'd be. Um, I'll let you here look at the products I'm using. I do tend to stick to one brand because one brand isn't necessarily gel paints or glitters that I'm needing, so I mix and match. This is my favourite new brush I got. I got a pack of three of Amazon. They're all different lengths, but this one is great. Plus, it matches my hair. <laughs> so I'm going to be Glitter Bells Basic B. I'm being quite generous with them out as well because you can disperse that product into the shape that you're needing. It's good coverage as well, I think you'll agree with that. And here I'm going to put in that one arm. So, when you look at a cartoon you probably think crap I'm not going to manage that but if you break it down into shapes and um, go by what colours are used and go by that shape and that colour and just build it up uh, this is going to be blossom I'm just doing the same thing so on the basis of these uh, press on nails I've just put a jelly um, gel coat on as a base mostly green for buttercup and pink for blossom but I'm doing the same thing here again I've gone in with the Art Lalic um, gel paints in neon green for Buttercup's dress. I also use this colour for her eyes as well. Um, this one is a lot more thicker so you need to put more pressure on your brush to move the product around compared to your gel polish. But again, just going by what colour I'm using and what shape that is and just going by that really. Break it down, um, it's the best advice I've got for you. I'm going in with the gel paints from Candy Coat in 002, which is black. Pigment's no bad actually. Um, I'm thinking about getting some magpie ones, but these were half the price, so that was a no brainer. I'm just going in for a hair, she ends up looking like Wolverine for a little bit. You'll notice here when I do this bit. To me, that just looks like Wolverine's hair. It tickled me pink, but yeah, going in with the blacks. Right, so for the eyebrows I'm keeping the pressure very 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 light, I am only using the tip of the brush and I've put the product throughout the brush so there's not a big blob at the end of the brush if you can fit a meaning. That was a lot of brushes. But yeah, being very gentle with application to make it nice and thin. Same with our mouth as well. Don't be scared to turn your client's hand as well, round as well if you're doing this on a client. This is her bow that I am doing now. And I'm just going in with Psycho and Sweet from Glitter Bells, just normal gel polish. I do go back in later, after this in the dress, for another coat and cure because it is um, quite sheer. But you'll see me do that later on. I'm just outlining where her dress goes. Be confident in your strokes as well. I think, well, in this video, I've got a bit calmer shy, my hammer shaking. But if you have confidence in when you're applying it, I think that helps a lot. And with confidence, you need practice, so have some practice, practice, practice. Going in with Temptation for her hair, a nice neon orange. This one is lovely and thick. It's not particularly amazing for painting nails, but for nail art, it's fantastic. So I'm going in with the white gel paint from Candy Coat and keeping my pressure really light again as well. So I'm doing her socks or legs, can't decide. <laughs> so I'm going in with them and then I go in and do the outline of the whites of her eyes as well. Again, broken record, keeping your pressure light with a minimal product on your brush. Same wee blossom, just in our legs. 
And again, referring to the photo you have in front of you, go by colours and block it in. Details can come later on. What's great with gel paints is once you place them, they very rarely run, so once you place it, that's it, it's staying there because it's nice and thick. The downfall with gel polish is you've got to cure quite often because it does tend to move. It rebels against you. But yeah, gel paints is really good for nail art. If you can't afford gel paints, then just go with your gel polish. You can always just go over a couple of coats and more cure in. No yeah, problem, but yeah, I do recommend getting some gel paints. Very handy. When you look at Powerpuff Girls as well, there are um, details inside. Inside. Let me explain myself. The outer lines will be thicker. The inside lines will be, like the detail lines will be a lot thinner. Um, it just makes it pop. You'll see in their drawings as well, their outer lines are thicker than their inner lines as well. So notice little details like that and it really makes a difference to your nail art. This is where I find that it really comes together is when you do the eyes. Um, so I'm just blocking in the gel paint for the black. Um, if you make a mistake, it's near no bother. You just go in with a flat nail brush. The cheap kind will do. It doesn't have to be fancy because it's just for corrections. Dip it into some prep and wipe or acetone. Dampen that brush off onto your couch roll. And then just correct whatever you're needing to correct. That is the joy with gel. If you make a mistake, it's no biggie. You just wipe it off and start again. It's really weird sitting here doing this voiceover because it's been uh, four months since my last... Four months? Three months? God knows. It's been a file. It's been a long file since I've done an edited video and some nail art tutorial for you guys, but I was inspired. Don't forget to like, share this video everywhere, please. And all nail pages you know of, just like, yeah, spam them. I love you forever. Well, into her mouth, I forgot to give her a tongue. So she, the angel noticed she's got a beige tongue. <laughs> Oops.
Once everything's cured, you can go back in and fix anything that's bugging you. And same again, I'm doing the thicker outer lines for blossom. And then I'll go back in with more pressure on my brush to create less. Less, not more. So to create thicker lines, you need more pressure on the brush. And when I do the detailed lines, which are thinner, I put less detail on. about her hair so I'm going back in with some more neon orange and I'm going down the side and then in between her legs again be generous it's not going on a natural nail really because you've already got a coat there so it won't bubble really you're fine I'm gonna top coat her she's looking grand and then start finishing them off yeah quite chuffed I go in with the whites of her eyes as well the whites of the eyes really make it I think Um. Because right now, yeah, it looks like her, but to tip it off, putting that white in the eye, it's like, that's it, there she is. So, there you go. You can do this for gel manicure extensions or press-ons, but I'd love to see your creations. See you guys soon! Ta-da!